Okay, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to work. <laughs> I just threaded this thing as best I could. Um, I've, I've followed a couple YouTube videos. That there's actually YouTube videos out there how to <laughs> thread this thing. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with the bobbin. Uh, the top part, all the way down here, is sort of like my mom's sewing machine. So the, the thread is pretty good. The, the tensioner is a little bit finicky. So I'm leaving it on pretty loose right now. Um, cause I don't want the thread to snap. The, the, the bobbin was itself hard to thread, but the second I turned the crank and put the needle down, I pulled up the, the bobbin thread through here. So I'm going to, first of all, do a few by hand. I think this clips down. I can feel it point through. So. I'm going to say that's working relatively well. Now let's get the, uh... oh my goodness, look at that, doing all by itself. This sewing machine is almost 100 years old. I don't know what it's doing. Is it actually sewing? It's actually sewing. I just grabbed uh, one of the rags that I was going to use to clean this thing, and uh, so here I am, sewing with my own sewing machine. Using the thread that was in my own sewing machine, I didn't bother putting new thread in. So this is, could be a Kathy's, my cousin Kathy's thread, or my own thread, but um, I'll move that away. You have to get used to sewing and moving your feet at the same time. <laughs> it's a little bit odd. I wonder if it has like a thing like this in the corner. Well, that's what that's for. So this little thing makes it a little slower or even backwards. So you can vary, you can uh, vary the uh, length of the stitch, which is kind of cool. I am more than impressed that this thing is still working. I'm not the most, uh, okay. and we'll put, pull up the foot, pull it out, snip the thread, boom, and there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. A 96 year old sewing machine that I got from my cousin Kathy that used to be my oldest and I just sewed a stitch on it after refurbishing it. Um, I am more than impressed by this thing. Uh, I don't think I'll be using it full time because again I still have my mom's but um, in the end I cannot complain about that at all uh, and how quiet it is, how, how smooth it is after a little WD-40, <laughs> how smooth it is, how wonderful it runs, even with the, the belt uh, that I just put on that, thankfully, Cousin Kath got. Um, there you go. Um, one working antique sewing machine. I, I'm i going to do some refurbishing of the tabletop and the drawers. I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to do something with this veneer. I talked to my buddy Mark and... Uh, We'll come up with a plan to uh, not wreck it, but to refinish it. You can tell, since we're on this video anyway, um, you can tell where the cover of the sewing machine was because that stuff still has the varnish on it and the rest of it does not. So this thing actually does come with a top. I don't think I've seen this showing this to you too much. So, and the top does lock if you want it to. So I have to push that in. It's kind of hard to do this all with one hand. So this thing's got a latch on one side, a hook on one side, hooks in there like that. And it comes down on this side and there's a key hole right in there so you can lock it. So I guess that's to stop the kids from using it. And you got the nice little thing on the front, Gritzner Extra. Again, I dated this because of the serial number to 1925. Um, take that off there. So 
The next major step is to, and I, I'm not going to strip it with any kind of harsh chemicals. I'm not going to sand it because this is very thin veneer, but it does have this crack in it. Um, this crack is because the wood underneath expanded, I guess, or um, I can't see it here, but um, I'm going to probably, possibly take it apart, take the iron stuff off, take the bolts off here and here, and take the entire wood off and try to refinish each piece and um, see how that works. Um, the drawers themselves are a little beat up, a little well used. As they say, there's a missing piece there, uh, but the drawer still works, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. It's probably uh, one of my aunts or uncles when they were kids. Um, pressed down on it by accident and when I was out here and broke it off. But, you know, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I love all my family. Um, but uh, this is what I'm going to do. So that's my next step. But I have a functioning 96-year-old sewing machine. And uh, I like it. And we'll see what happens. Oops. We'll see what happens next. I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to clean out the drawers. What I did find interesting, besides the doily here that I showed you guys the other day, is that there's this nice packet. And you know, I don't... I mean, not to hang out at the sewing store a lot. But let's see what I found in here. I remember my mom had these uh, sort of uh, needle kits when I was a kid in her sewing machine. Uh, they're little plastic ones. But uh, I have no idea when uh, this was produced. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere. Finest quality. Um, <laughs> but that's, again, it was in here. So it's either my cousin Kathy's or my Oma's. Um, and so there it'll stay. Uh, and the fact that I believe I can still use my mom's needles in here, because the needle I took out and cleaned it, uh, it looked exactly the same as my mom's. A little bit denter. It's kind of sad. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, but it's, I think it's worth refinishing. I think it's worth cleaning up. And uh, I'd like to do woodworking, so I'm going to work on that. That's my next. That's already locked in. So um, i got to find the key. It's in there. <laughs> not going to worry about it. Uh, so there you go. One working antique sewing machine. Uh, pedal powered. Uh, trundle powered, I guess. They call it trundles. Um, very, very happy. So you guys all take care. Uh, wear a mask, stay safe. Um, we're uh, we're going to get to this thing. Um, and uh, you guys can come over if you want and use a sewing machine. <laughs> if you so desire it sometime in the future. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.